what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you guys five editing trick you must know in game master okay now the first trick i will show you now is just first of all to click then add the project now for this i'm using you can use any project you want you want to use for this trick so the trick i'm showing you now is this first of all to go to layer media then load a long footage to this let me add this now you need a certain part of this in this clip and you don't have it so what we do now is to just cut this then start dragging cut and start dragging so before you get to this end it will it will be very stressful and it will consume a lot of time so to do this you just have to go to media background then select the background to the it may be any color you want just add the background then extend it to the end of the clip like so now you have the clip visible throughout the whole sequence and you can just click on the part you will need then cut that out then drag it to the footage now you can delete this you don't need it anymore and this is how we can do this you see that this is really nice trick and it will save a lot of time for you guys okay guys now the second trick i will show you now let's load in a background first now we load in our footage okay like so so i need to animate this footage as you can see here now i want to show you some trick about this key so when you click on this key we have this plus which plus add you mean you add a keyframe to this and the minus simply means minus a keyframe so you can minus keyframe you can add keyframe but we have something behind this when you look at the left you have something up arrow up and arrow down so the uses of the arrow up and arrow down so let's add some keyframe to this first okay now you have a bunch of keyframe to your sequence and you want to remove some keyframe and instead of you just getting it right to so just drag your foot to where the keyframe is exactly and you don't really know where it is you don't have to do that so just click on this arrow it will give you to show you the next keyframe just clicking then you have the next click here you have another 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 and you can click back so that's the function and the uses of this arrow key so instead of dragging you just have to press next then you can press minus if you want to remove or add keyframe so they said that is that about that and it should be very much helpful to you guys okay now the next trick i'll show you guys is how to add a frame to this to give it a film like like a film look okay to do this click on layer that's the basic way to do this just go to media background then we have background and drag it then drag it down then duplicate it this is how we normally go about this then we drag it up so even we do it like this we can have it won't be accurate we won't have the proper size of this and we don't have to do this anymore just delete that now we have a proper way of adding frame frame to this just go to layer overlay now you can download this frame frame in get more but i already have it so cinematic frame just click here now you can choose any frame size you want and this is really nice to have this frame size you really want here and this is how to do this and you see that this is really helpful instead of adding this manually so you can do this in one click okay now the next tips i will show you guys is this test tips okay first of all to make this end of the frame okay now this step tips i want to show you that you can have a different style of font to this and we have our basic font do you know that we also have some fonts here you can use them and they are really nice you see this you can change them to whatever you want and you see this this is really nice and if you come to order you see have a nice font you see this this font are really 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 nice But I want to show you something. Do you know that you can add a glow effect 
to this test so when you come down here you can see it glow and click on that if you enable the glow and increase the speed this spread of this glow determine how bright it is and the size you see so this is really nice to know that you can do all these nice test effects here in kinemaster and you can also animate this just go to in animator then come down here then you can make this right by test and you see that this is really nice okay okay now the last tips i will show you guys today is a slider tips so these tips works and this is a nice trick to use when it's like you shoot your video with a camera slider and this is really working nice let me show you guys so click on your footage then click on this which is the zoom and pan so what we do now is to zoom in a little bit then drag it to the right like so okay then you need to press equal to make it the same free then remove the equal you have to remember first of all to add the equal then remove it then click on the second position then drag it right like so so when you play this now you have a camera slider that works really nice and clean okay now now this is how to do these tips i hope you will like them and thanks for watching i will see you in my next video